Tonight, former Coast players Jeff Saturday and Joy Wright wore helmets made by Brownsburg-based company, but no one in the NFL is allowed to wear SG helmets this fall. So today we wanted to know, are these helmets safe for college, high school, even youth league players? Our Rich and I asked the founder of the company today. The NFL has banned two helmets made by SG. That makes them sound unsafe and has the founder of this Brownsburg company very upset. Are you kidding me? I mean, I've been making helmets for a long, long, long time. My helmets have won the Indianapolis 500 22 times. Bill Simpson has made racing helmets since 1979. He put that technology and research toward making a better football helmet to reduce head injury. Colts and local high school players have worn SG helmets. Totally different technology. It's absolutely different. It's 360 degree, degree protection. It's half the weight. Um, it's made with carbon Kevlar. It's a one-piece multi-layered uh, uh, liner that's uh, multi-density. But Monday, the NFL released lab testing results that put two SG models on the list of prohibited helmets. Well, this is showing the results of testing. I understand that, and that's not true. I'm telling you on TV, it's not true because our 2018 helmet is not there. Simpson says he sent the NFL his latest helmet, but they did not test it or list it. The two band models are discontinued, but Simpson says they are still safe. Virginia Tech gave SG helmets five stars, its highest rating. Company data says 2,900 SG helmets were sold last year, and more than 10,000 are in use. Just nine concussions were reported in 2017 and 84 in five years of usage. That's a concussion percentage of .0079, lower than competitors, Simpson says. If there's players that are inter interested in protecting themselves, they'll come to us, but not while they're being discouraged to do so. Simpson says he doesn't care about the NFL or need NFL players to wear his helmets, but he does care what the NFL says about his helmets. In Brownsburg, I'm Rich and I, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.